It's difficult to know where to start when it comes to Blonde, Andrew Dominic's breathtakingly misguided adaptation of Joyce Carol Oates's 1999 novel about Marilyn Monroe. That nearly 800-page experiment was itself a dubious endeavor, mixing truth and fabrications into a work of speculative, deeply psychological interiority. Even Oates's most brazen flights of imagination might be defended in the name of rescuing Monroe from the objectifying gaze that defined her and giving her an inner life. Here, Dominic thoroughly undoes that project in a film that not only re-objectifies Monroe but revels in her victimization and self abnegation Reductive, ghoulish and surpassingly boring, Blonde might have invented a new cinematic genre, necrofiction. Don't blame Anna de Armas. After lurid opening sequences in which young Norma Jean Mortensen, played as a child by Lily Fisher, is tormented and eventually abandoned by her alcoholic and abusive mother, Julianne Nicholson, de Armas takes full control of the screen, transforming into the familiar screen icon before her eyes. That scene ends with a rape that can't help but conjure images of Harvey Weinstein and the casting couch tradition he so brutally perpetuated. The rest of Blonde continues apace, with Monroe encountering creepy, dismissive or outright violent men who continually underestimate and betray her.